John Samuel Hendricks is an American businessman who founded and previously served as chairman of Discovery Inc., a broadcasting and film production firm that owns the Discovery Channel, TLC, and Animal Planet Networks, among other endeavors. On March 20, 2014, he announced his intention to step down as chairman of Discovery Communications at the annual shareholders' meeting on May 16, 2014, after 32 years at the helm. He went on to establish Curiosity Stream, an ad-free, on-demand, non-fiction streaming service. Kendricks was born in Mattawan, West Virginia, to a home builder father and a city government clerk mother. The Kendricks family relocated to Huntsville, Alabama in 1958, where Hendricks grew up. His father died when he was 20 years old and his mother died when he was 30 years old. He met his first wife, Patty Miller, at S.R. Butler High School. Hendricks earned a bachelor's degree in history from the University of Alabama in Huntsville in 1974. He worked in the audiovisual department at UAH while a student and had the notion to offer documentaries to the public. The year he graduated, he was appointed as Director of Community and Government Relations at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, and in 1975, he became Director of Business and Foundation Relations at the University of Maryland. While at the University of Maryland, he and Edward M. P. Body co-founded the American Association of University Consultants, a fundraising consulting firm, and published various periodicals focused towards academic subjects such as chemistry. In 1982, John Hendricks established the Cable Educational Network, Inc. in Bethesda, Maryland to supply documentary programs to cable broadcasters. On June 17, 1985, Hendricks launched the Discovery Channel with a $5 million seed investment from the American investment firm Allen & Company. Today, Discovery's major stockholders include Liberty Media Chairman John Malone and Advanced Newhouse. In 1999, Hendricks was a founding member of the Women's United Soccer Association. WUSA terminated operations in 2003 after three seasons of operation. Hendricks and a group of investors tried a financial rescue of the league in 2004 in order to resurrect professional women's soccer in the United States. The WUSA stated in April 2007 that the league would be revived in 2008. Women's Professional Soccer, or WPS, was a new league that existed from March 2009 until January 2012. A Curious Discovery, an Entrepreneur Story, his first business book was released by HarperCollins in 2013. His biography details the ups and downs of turning his passion for documentary programming into the world's most widely disseminated cable channel and parlaying its success into a major global media corporation. Curiosity Stream, an internet video on demand service, was launched by Hendrix in 2015. Documentaries and series about science, technology, history, and nature are available on Curiosity Stream. On January 10, 1981, John Hendricks married his present wife, Maureen Donahue. Elizabeth Hendricks and Andrew Hendricks are John and Maureen's two children. Elizabeth graduated from Halton Arms School in Princeton University, and she's the president of Hendricks Factual Media. Andrew graduated from the Landon School, and he's the president of Driven Experiences, a racing and automobile firm that's active in various forms of marketing media. Andrew is also a Grand Ambrose racing professional sports car driver. Hendricks was appointed to the Lowell Observatory Advisory Board in 1995. Hendricks gave $1 million to the observatory in 2004 to help fund the building of the Lowell Discovery Telescope. Hendricks gave an additional $5 million to the observatory in 2007 to finish the telescope. Shortly after, the Planetary Research Center at the observatory was renamed the Hendricks Center for Planetary Studies in recognition of the grant. Hendricks serves on the boards of several nonprofit organizations including the United States Olympic Committee, the Carnegie Corporation of New York, the Institute for Advanced Study, the National Forest Foundation, and the Discovery Learning Alliance. Hendricks is the founder of two philanthropic foundations. In 2001, the John and Maureen Hendricks Charitable Foundation was created. It accepts donations from the Hendricks family, about $1.1 million in 2005 to 2006, according to the Foundation's Form 900 tax filing, and makes grants to charitable organizations. In total, the Hendricks have given more than $30 million to nonprofit organizations that promote a wide range of causes, from basic social assistance to scientific research. In 1997, the John S. Hendricks Family Foundation was created. The Hendricks Family uses the foundation for specific charity objectives, and it had no income, assets, or disbursements in calendar years 2003, 2004, or 2005, according to the foundation's Form 900 tax statements. Discovery Channel creator John Hendricks first sold the main house and grounds of this property for $149 million a few years ago, but has subsequently added the entire expense to the auction for a total price of 
$279 million. Ryan Serhant, one of the stars of Bravo TV's Million Dollar Listing and the author of the book Sell It Like Serhant, is the mastermind behind the marketing for this property and gave me a first look at the video tour of the utterly unique amenities that come with a place, many of which are being reported here for the first time this week. They range from the minor yet unusual such as the beautiful dinosaur excrement that has been fossilized and lodged in the stained glass of the one-of-a-kind door of the main house to the big and completely conventional for a property of this size. That would be the $3 million chopper plus a full-time helicopter pilot and technician to ensure you have someone who knows how to operate the machine. The main building on the property is a 22,000-square-foot adobe-style residence with inside marble columns, stone circle dome skylights, and an interior fountain for added visual flair as picture below. The asking price for the property includes multiple house employees who can remain in any of the guest houses on the site. The main home also includes a four-story lift, an infinity pool, and a cinema theater. A limited number of horses with stables and an eight buffalo herd are also included. In 1985, John Hendricks launched the Discovery Channel. As chairman of Discovery Communications, the world's largest nonfiction media company, he oversees 27 entertainment brands that reach 1.5 billion people in 39 languages and 170 countries over more than 100 channels. He's the first corporate leader to win the National Education Association's Friend of Education Award, and he sits on the boards of several nonprofit organizations, including the United States Olympic Committee and the National Forest Foundation. A Fascinating Discovery, an entrepreneur story, his new book details his journey as he founded the company and what he's learned from the encounters. In this interview, he discussed how he got into the media business, how he's adapted to deal with changes in his profession, how he's managed to capture the interest of millennials, and provides his best advice. A Silver Springs streaming service has acquired approximately $140 million from private investors in its first round of funding, thanks in large part to the legacy of its founder, John Hendricks, whose credentials include the establishment of Discovery Inc. Curiosity Stream is a journalism, science, history, technology, nature, society, and lifestyle streaming and production company. Blum Capital Ventures and Times Square Capital Management are among the round's investors. Clint Stinchcomb, the company's president and CEO, credited the company's fundraising success to two factors, its strict concentration on non-fiction content and Hendricks' track record. Curiosity Stream's founder and chairman Hendricks is a missionary entrepreneur, according to Stinchcomb separating him and the company in the eyes of investors. The extra investment, according to Stinchcomb, will go into further documentary creation, global marketing and technological breakthroughs in content discovery, which is data analytics software that offers content to viewers based on their preferences. The 50-person startup, which has stated that it aims to add more staff, expects that such technologies will help it to stand out and gain an audience in the congested industry of streaming media. Hundreds of millions of people around the world are turning to on-demand television and entertainment, and Stinchcomb, who joined Curiosity Stream in 2017 and was promoted to CEO in June. We're in the midst of a seismic shift in consumer behavior, and this money will accelerate the dynamic growth we've seen over the previous year. Stinchcomb stated that geographical expansion will be a part of the company's future plan. According to him, a little more than half of Curiosity Stream subscribers are based in the United States. As part of a global drive, the corporation intends to grow into Asia, Latin America, Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. It also intends to expand its present content offerings to include children's programs. Overall, Stinchcomb stated that he intends to expand Curiosity Stream's content catalog from approximately 2,000 to more than 3,000 titles by the end of 2019. He believes the organization can reach 5 million to 7 million paying members in the next 3 to 5 years. According to the Wall Street Journal, Hendricks had aimed to reach that subscriber level by 2020 when he founded the company in 2015. The company has been a little slower to attain that goal. According to the Wall Street Journal, it had only 1 million paying users at the end of 2018, far short of the 1.5 million to 2 million target that Hendricks had hoped to hit last year. And that brings us to the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, then drop a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. And don't forget to press the bell icon below to always stay updated about our future uploads. See you in the next video.